Do you dream of becoming a permanent government worker or a licensed professional teacher? Then you're blessed. My channel is for you. I am Sir Leo at your service. Good day. Welcome back again to my channel. Today, you will learn prime factorization, okay? In the licensure examination for teachers, uh, prime factorization belongs to topic of Fundamentals of Mathematics, Lesson 1.5. Ang essential skill, okay? Before uh, listening to this video or watching to this video, dapat alam niyo ang prime numbers. Na-discuss ko na to sa first video ko, no? Sa ibang video ko, please watch muna, no? Before watching this. And of course, multiplication and or division of integers. Paulit-ulit lang po ito, pero dapat may mastery na kayo. If you have the mastery, then you don't have to worry anymore because you will surely learn prime factorization. And, okay, kasama sa bahay dyan, kayo dyan sa bahay pala, hashtag, I love to learn mathematics, I love to learn math, I love to learn math. If you're new here again, please subscribe, share, hit the notification bell for updates, please. Okay, then let's start. So what is prime factorization? Okay, baka tanongin ito, so magpasalamat tayo no, at na-review kayo. It is a way of expressing a number as a product of its prime factors. Okay, tingnan nyo ang ina-highlight na to. Expressing a number as a product. O, di ba? So, dapat ang essential skill, multiplication of integers, of its prime factors. Okay, product of its prime factors. Okay, so dapat alam nyo na ang prime numbers. So just to review, a prime number is a number in which factors are one and itself. The least prime number is two because two is two times one, or uh, one and itself, one and two, one times two, two. Another is five because the factors only are one and five because one times five is five, diba? Okay, so these are the prime factors. Ang dapat, matandaan nyo rin ito, okay? Baka lang, lalabas. Baka magtanong how many prime numbers are there in 1 to 100. O, diba? So, alam nyo na. O, diba? Okay? And if hindi nyo ito ma-memorize, so, familiarize lang muna sa first 20. I mean, prime factors from 1 to 20. Prime numbers. Okay? So, 2. So, dapat, sa mind you, 2 is a prime number. 3 is a prime number. 5 is a prime number. 7 is a prime number. 11 is a prime number. 13, 17, 19, 23, 29. Kung hindi nyo na ito ma-memorize, okay no? Pero much better ma-memorize ma nyo. If hindi, so ito lang po kahit up to 23 or 19. Okay? Baka sabihin nyo, bakit prime numbers si 17, sir? Okay. Ano nga ang prime numbers are numbers in which we have factors 1 and itself. So ano nga i-multiply natin? na mga numbers na magiging 17. So, 1 times 17, sir, ay 17. Yes. Do we have another numbers na i-multiply natin maging 17? So, mag-try ka dito. 2 times 8, oh, 16. 2 times 9, oh, 18. Ah, parang wala na, sir. Okay. So, 17 is a prime number. Diba? Uh, that's our way, no? Yun ang way natin sa first video. So, Remember nyo lang ang first 20 kung hindi nyo kaya ang 100. Pero since you are aiming to pass an examination, memorize this, understand this, okay? Now, let's have first example. Find the prime factors of, let us say, 6, okay? There are many ways in getting the prime factors, okay? Pero... Ang iti-teach ko sa iyo ay sa inyo po, mga subscribers ko, mga lovable subscribers, ay ang 3, factor factor 3. Factor 3. O, diba? 3. So, puno. 
So, bakit? Kasi our ways are, we will find, example, this is a number, no, number. So, mag-find tayo ng mga factors of that number. So, we have number again, another number. Tapos, kung may factors pa, mag-find pa tayo. Ganyan. So, parang mga branches na sila sa tree. Diba? So, it's a factor tree. So, that's the term lang po, no, na ginagamit. So, let's have example 6. So, what are the numbers, no, prime factors na if i-multiply natin, magiging 6? Ah, uh, parang 2 times 3, sir, 6. Okay. 2 times 3, 6. Correct. My, how about 2? Is 2 a prime number? Yes, sir. That's the least. How about 3? Is 3 a prime number? Yes, sir. That's also a prime number. Ah, tapos ka na. 6, ang prime numbers niya ay 2 and 3. Ganyan. O, diba? I'm not sure that's a board exam. Wow na wow. Diba? Ipauso natin yan, guys. Wow na wow. <laughs> 2 and 3. Ang prime factors ng 6. Ganyan lang po. Kasabi nyo, Sir, diba ang 6, ang 2, sir, ay may 2 times 1 pa. O, kasi sabi ko, you stop na if prime numbers na sila. O, mga prime na diba? Sa pinamemorize ko sa inyo, diba? So, stop there. These are the prime numbers. Okay, baka sabihin nyo, Sir, si 6, sir, di ba? 6 times 1? Yes, pwedeng pwedeng 6 times 1. Pero si 6 ba? Hindi ba pwedeng, hindi ba siya pwedeng ma, ma break pa ito factors? Pwede pa, sir, 3 times 2. O, di ba? So, parang tumaas na po ang 3 nyo. Di ba? Baka mas maraming fertilizer ang 3 nyo kasi Kaya mas humaba pa. Ay, nako, ang Tagalog, no? <laughs> it becomes bigger, no? So, and more complicated na. Kasi nag-start kayo sa 6 times 1. Pwede na diretso, no, sa mga factors. No, wag na ang 1 and itself. Ha? Wag na ang 1 and itself. Okay? So, example number 2. Let's try 12. Okay. 12, sir. Ah! 12, sir, is 6 times 2. Okay. 2 is a prime number. Ah, tapos na ko dito. Yes, thank you, Lord. 2 is a prime number. How about 6? Is 6 a prime number? Ah, not yet. Because, may mahahanap pa tayo po ng mga numbers na i-multiply natin kay, i-multiply natin magiging 6, which is, which are 3 times 2. So, si 2 prime, tapos si 3 prime, ah, tapos na. So, ang prime numbers, ang um, Prime factors, I mean, I 2, 2, 3. Ah, oh, ganyan lang pala ka basic, sir. Yes! Baka sabihin nyo, sir, di ba 12 ay 4 times 3 din? Oh, let's try that. 4 times 3. 12 is 4 times 3. Correct. How about 4? Do we have numbers in which we multiply will result to 4? 4. 2 times 2, sir. Yes, because 2 times 2 is 4. Ah, oh, so, 2 is prime, 2 is prime, 3 is prime. Ay, same pa rin, sir. Yes. So, in the examination, do not try all cases na 4 times 3, 6 times 2. No. Kung ano na ang natry nyo, 6 times 2, go. That's it. Correct na po yan. That's already correct, especially if you have factored it completely. Okay? Ganyan lang po ka-basic. I love to learn math. I love to learn prime factorization. I want to pass the exam. I want to top the let. Parang ganyan ang mga motivation nyo. So, let's have example number 3. Okay. Let's have 40. Okay. So, again, ang pinaka-basic natin na mamultiply sa 40 nyo ay 4 times 10, sir. Okay. It's already, it's also correct. 4 times 10 is 20. Diba? So, are they prime numbers? 4. Hala, si 4, sir, multiply pa 2 times 2. Yes! 2 times 2 is 4. And 2 is a prime number. Stop na tayo dyan. About 5, guys. Ang 10, I know. How about 10? 10 hat 10 ito, guys. About 10. Ang 10, sir, mm, wow na wow, wow na wow. 5 times 2. Yes! 5 times 2. Tapos sa pinamemorize ko, is 5 a prime number? Yes, sir. Yes, it's a prime number. Oh, see? You have there 2, 2, 2, 5. 
these are the prime factors of 40. Ah? O kaya pala, sir? Yes. Bakit kaya prime factor, sir? Okay. Kasi, okay, no? Kasi kung i-multiply natin ito lahat, guys, this will result to 40. Sige da? 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, may 2 pa kasi dito. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 5, 40. Oh, oo nga pala. But we are just looking for the prime factors. Remember? Prime factors. Okay, diba? Basic lang. Example number 4. We have 84. Okay, 84. Hala, ano kaya ang um, i-multiply ko? Parang wala pa ako, kung, baka sabihin nyo self nyo kung 80, 8 times 10. 84, paano kaya? Okay, if you don't have in your minds, in your hearts, Oh, saan ba yan? Saan yung tinago ang mga numbers na yan? No? So, pwede kang mag-divide. No? Kasi, uh, times, ay kabaltaran ng division, division, multiplication, di ba ganyan? So, example, kasi hindi mo alam kung ano i-multiply. Ako, mal, baka alam ko. So, so itry mo ang mga numbers. So, to find 84, factors na 84, ah, oh, pwede ito pang 2. Try ko daw, be. Si 2 kaya ang isang factor. Tapos ano kaya ang isa pa? So, i-divide. ba So, 4. 4 times 2, 8. This is subtraction. 4. Tapos 2 times 2, 4. Uy, 0 na. Ah, so, 2 and 42, sir. Oh, because 2 times 42, 84. Ah, okay. Good. This is just a step by step, ha? Pero I know, you know that 42 times 2 in your minds already is 84. So, diretso na yan. Sa hindi pa, so ganito po ang ways. Itry nyo lang ang mga prime numbers. So, 2 is prime number. So, let's work with 42. 42, ano naman? Ah, sir, 2 times 21 is 42. Correct! Correct na correct. Diba? Kasi maliit na lang si 42. So, Mm, parang mabilis na lang mag mental math. How about uh, 2 is a prime number, right? How about 21? Prime pa ba siya? Oh, sa na-memorize ko, parang hindi. Parang 19 ang prime, tapos 23 na. Ah, ano kaya? Ah, kasi na-memorize mo ang multiplication table. 3 times 7 is 21. O, oh, ba? Tapos, na-memorize mo ang prime numbers kasama si 3 at 7. Ah, so, in just 10 seconds, ma-answer mo na na ang mga prime factors are 2, 2, 3, 7. That's it. Ganyan lang po ka-basic. ba? So basic. Now, last example. 1, 20. Okay, kung mga ganito, basic lang yan, sir. 10 ang isa, 12 ang isa. Oh, correct. How about 10? 5 and 2, sir. Correct. How about 12? Ah, 6 times 2, sir. Correct! So, 2 is prime, 2 is prime, 5 is prime, 6 hindi. Well, hindi yung kasama sa na-memorize ko. Oh, kasi it's 2 times 3 pa, sir. Correct! Ah, bilis mo na. So, ang prime numbers ay 2, i-arrange lang natin, no? 2, 2, 3, and 5. Baka sabi nyo, sir, i-always ba yan i-arrange, sir? 5, nauna mo sa example, oh, dapat 5, 2, 2. Hindi. Hindi necessary. Pero usually, yari siya sa choices. Okay? Baka kasi sa choices nyo or sa answer nyo 5 mag-una. So, nanobdiabag na naman kayo. No. ba? These are the prime factors. So, pwede yan interchange sa pagka-arrange. Pero usually, ascending order. Okay? Very basic. So, clap. I want you to clap there. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Congrats, self. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. I love myself. I love others too. So, this is your homework. Five questions. I want you to comment your answers and I will just like or heart if it's correct. Okay. Our next topic is LCM and GCF. Okay. Actually, we discussed already LCM. Diba? So, I'll just review that next time and we'll focus more on GCF. Okay. So, if you're new here, or if you have an education student, classmate, or friend, or uh, just any uh, friend who will be taking CSC, please let them let them 
like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more topics. Okay, once again, congratulations for passing the licensure examination for teachers and the CSC examinations. See you next week. Bye-bye.